All right. So I thought it would be really fun if we made a miniature museum. So I have a little miniature piece of paper. I have a little miniature cup of water. I have a very tiny brush. And I also have a medium sized brush. And I also have these miniature watercolors, which are so cute and so fun. And so what I'm gonna do for you today is I'm gonna demonstrate how to paint a little tiny winter landscape. And you are welcome to change uh, the subject in your artwork. If you don't wanna do a landscape, that's fine. But this is a really fun way to uh, create a simple, tiny little landscape using tiny watercolors. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my brush in the water, make sure I have a nice wet uh, brush bristle because watercolors are called watercolors because they need water to work. And I'm going to get a little bit of blue on my paintbrush and I'm going to start by creating what's called a horizon line. And basically I'm just separating the sky from the ground. And by doing that, I just, even just simply creating a, uh, the top part of my miniature paper blue, I just made it look like a snowy field or all, all you can see is snow, and then this would be the sky. But I want to add a little bit more to my landscape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, I'm going to get my teeny tiny brush for this one. I'm going to get um, my brush a little bit wet. And I'm going to add, I want it to kind of, I want it to be a sunset. So I'm going to give my sky a little bit of pink and I really like seeing how the blue and the pink mix together. So I'm doing this while my my paper is still wet from the blue that I painted. And you can see just by adding a little bit of pink in there and I'm I'm not adding too much water because it's a small little tiny landscape, so I want to make sure that it's uh, not over, over soaked. Um, so now just by adding that pink, I kind of gave it a little bit more of a sunset feel. The next thing I'm going to do is think about how I want to add my mountains. And I also want to uh, suggest that before you paint in your mountains, you let the sky dry a little bit. One thing that is sometimes helpful is to take a paper towel or a tissue and just give it a gentle little dab. And you wanna, you wanna do this really gently so it doesn't smudge into your snow, but um, I want to make sure that my mountains have um, a nice, clean mountain range. So that's why I did that, um, to make sure that the, the sky was dry. So because it's the end of the day in my painting, I'm going to make my mountains have a little bit of a purple look to them. So I grabbed a little bit of purple and I just picked a spot right above that horizon line and I just you can also draw this in with pencil if that feels like it will help you stay inside the lines but I kind of like just painting it in and however my mountains turn out is is just fine and so I just did like a little mountain peak here and then it comes down and then maybe there's a smaller mountain peak over here. And really trying to have control over your brush so that it um, 
you can get those clean lines. So just by doing that, I made the sky, the mountains. I'm gonna let the mountains dry just a little bit before I um, add any more. And while I let the mountains dry, I can start thinking about maybe there's some trees. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of dark blue, or you could also go with dark, dark green, but I like, I like the dark blue look. And what I'm gonna do now is figure out where I want to have a tree or, or a group of trees in my, in my painting. And I'm gonna go down into the snow a little bit. And just by gently poking in some, some dark blue, and then as you get towards the top of the tree, try and make the, the top a little bit smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until it gets like to the, to the very tippy top of the tree. These are like little pine trees. And you have to be very delicate with your paintbrush because we're working with such a small, small brush and it's a small little piece of paper. So it's kind of fun to like really zone into the small little details. Again, this is another thing you could, if you wanted to draw your trees in, that's fine too. Just, I would suggest making sure the water is uh, dried, the watercolors. And so just by doing that, I created this little forest on the left side of my paper. And I kind of want to show that there's some trees in the distance. So I'm just gonna like poke in like tiny, tiny little pokes so that you can't even really make out the trees, but you can see that like there's another forest way in the distance because things that are further away are smaller. They look smaller when we, when we see them. So sky, mountain, trees, and the last thing I want to do is put some little footprints in the snow. And this is where you're going to need a really, really small brush, or you could draw them in. But I'm going to get a super tiny brush and just gently poke in some little tracks in the snow. And maybe they're walking into the distance, and as they get further and further and further and further away, they get smaller and smaller. 